Barber? Mr. Red Barber? You're my son, old hat. Oh, sorry about that. Am I right to assume you're that reporter from the newspaper come to talk to me? Yes, sir. Brenda McKenzie, it is an honor to meet you. I swear my dad must have heard every broadcast of yours. He would always say, no one tells baseball like Mr. Redbarb. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to a fan. It makes dealing with the press a little more tolerable. Yeah, I could say that, being a former pressman myself. <laughs> you uh, looked like you were pretty deep in thought when I walked up. I hope I didn't interrupt. Oh, no. It seems getting ready for these interviews always seems to stir up memories, like south in the Mississippi. <laughs> Makes me realize how good this job has been to me. I had a good run there, kept me walking tall in the cotton. There was nothing you'd change. Perhaps choose a different path. No, not a thing. Though there was a moment when I almost gave it all up. Walked away and left it all behind. It was the spring of 45. Branch Ricky, owner of the Brooklyn Dodgers, called me in to have a talk with him. All right, Rick, my name. Glad to see you. By the way, how do you like the mustache? No. Ah, uh, well, the wife doesn't like it much either. I'm shaving it tomorrow. But that's not why I brought you here. Nice place you got here. Oh yeah, the old lockers. Worn out, old, crumbling. They seen the day and it's past. Out with the old, in with the new, and a new way of thinking. So I assume you have more than construction planned here. I read it. You're right. You should be honored by what I'm about to tell you. I just got through telling the boys upstairs on the board, and you're only going to be the second to know. I'm signing the first black major league ball player to the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, I'll be a suck egg mule. There you go. Now, am I to understand that you come from parts where people might disapprove of this sort of thing? And you being one of those people might have a problem doing your job because of this development? Mr. Ricky, I prefer to be the only one to put words in my mouth. But yes, you could say I have a problem with this development. Do you even have a player? I have my eye on someone. Robinson is his name. But if it isn't him, it'll be someone else. This is happening. Why now? Why like this? Well... Back when I was coaching college, we had a Negro catcher on the team. We had an away game in Indiana, and when we got to the hotel, the man behind the desk wouldn't let him check in. So I told them that he's staying in my room, and I sent the rest of the boys to theirs. And later, when I went up to check on him, I found him sitting on his cot with tears rolling down his cheeks. And he was scratching at his fingers, like this, trying to rip the skin off. Saying, Mr. Ricky, Mr. Ricky, if I was white, I'd be just like everybody else. Well, that boy's words have haunted me to this day, and now I'm in a position or I can change that. And that is why this is happening and it's happening now. I feel for that boy, I do. But that is not how things are done and I do not know if I can be part of this. Well, Red, why don't you take some time and think on it? That's the best I can do for you. I guess I got some thinking to do.
I just don't know what to do. I mean an integrated baseball team. Listen, you don't have to quit right now. Let's just have a martini. I don't honestly know if I can give an unbiased report. I wasn't brought up that way. My elders carefully taught me you don't mix blacks and whites. We all know the rules. Of course. I was born with the same rules. But look at what this job has brought us. A beautiful home, a child. We have a beautiful life. Are you ready to start over? Yes, economics do have a way of being a hidden persuader. But God, do I love that game. Sitting there watching the poetry of the perfect pitch. Hearing the crowd come to fever when their team gets a tie and run. I don't know if I can give that up. Well, the way I see it is, this Mr. Robinson has a job to do, and so do you. I started a lot of walking those next few days. I really wrestled with myself and realized it was just a matter of luck at some point. It was chance that I was born white, or I could have been born black, or anything. Should that stop someone from doing their job? Then I heard a voice, I swear, a voice that said somewhere deep down, it said, Report. R report. And that's all there was to it. That's all I did. I merely reported it. Hello, everybody. Old Redhead speaking from here high up in the catbird seat at Ebbets Field. I'd like to welcome you to the first day of... And Robinson did the rest. And old doctor, he did ever show us. <laughs> 